All right, guys. Mess my stream real quick. All right, so we have the FML final. Uh, like, like we said, I think it's going to be an exciting cast of players. Um, high tech, if, if maybe you want to start and kind of go through each player and maybe give a brief, uh, some notes on, on each player, what you know and how they've been playing. Sure. I think you've been following the season uh, more so than I have. Yeah, at least at least the previous ones, maybe. Like, I've only been with a with FML for like, I, I think around two years now, but um, we do see a, a wild mix of old school and new school players here in this match with very, very fair spawns. Um, we do see, um, we start with a only non-human player at in the in the top left. We do see Janker from Sweden, random player, and I'm, um, yeah, kudos to him for playing random. Um, against three humans, I, I guess Elf is like a good race to <laughs> to play against three humans, and he's a decent Elf player. Um, yeah, I think so too. So he's like he, he was a bit rusty, but he trained a lot in previous weeks. So I I definitely think he's capable to win this. He played the semi final very um, like very calm and very dis decisively in the end. So he knows how to win games. Um, definitely one of the yeah, one of the better game players this season. To his right, GS, old school player who's still kind of like not here. <laughs> He's um, he, he just showed up before the season and and played these the the four rounds and I think he got three wins um, quite impressively. He has probably the the disadvantage of not knowing like the other players too well so he's not familiar with the play style that's probably also one of the reasons why he played very passively previous games so um, I'm curious to see how well he's going to handle aggression this time um, especially since he's close to a little tick who is um, a, a new player but he won last the last season with a very um, very good human play, uh, very, uh, very efficient human play style. So he manages to stay on 50 for a long time. He's great late game hiding, um, running around with Invis heroes, and um, always fun to watch and and a very nice guy too. So um, he he had a great start into the season. Only lost the last the round four game, and um, wouldn't be surprised if if he he take his second title here um, and the last player super cumulative from Peru um, also oh, I forgot to mention like the the, the other players where, where they're coming from so little tick from Czech Republic and super cumulative from Peru also very experienced human player um, you never know what he's what he's up to and He's like on a good day. He can definitely crush any of these players. Um, on a bad day, he you you sometimes don't know like what he's doing, and he tends to lose his main base for no reason. So um, very interesting. All right, thanks, man. So I want to just just kind of start by by saying first of all, I'm really happy with the spawns. Uh, you couldn't really ask for better spawns. I mean, I guess if they were all separated by one uh, location, but in this case, you have two players that. Or each player is, is next to each other, but their expansion is defended, if that makes sense, like on the tree line here. Whereas if the spawns were, like say purple was under uh, Cumulo, then the Exos would be a little more exposed. So I'm really happy with the spawns in that regard. Um, I also really like that Junker random elf versus three humans. Um, as you mentioned, elf is a good race versus three humans, especially if you don't have to face a really good undead player. Uh, meaning you don't have to mass so many hippogriffs. So Elf can play lore units, Elf can play a lot of different things and only have to counter one race. And you know, as as you know, human is a lot about mechanical units, um, gyrocopters and tanks. So that's pretty exciting. Tinker first uh, is cool as well, especially later in the game. We'll see uh, what comes of a base race. Um, thanks for explaining the players. Uh, I'll kind of give my own uh, little thoughts on some of the players as well. Uh, looks like did the stream just start here. Forces are under I think attack. the stream just started. Okay. Um, so yeah, Junker. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm glad he random elf. Uh, he's a good random player. He's fun to watch. He can mix it up. Pretty versatile, experienced player. 
Um, I mentioned in one of my postings, he's a little bit inconsistent from what I've seen, but uh, definitely a strong player and someone that's fun to watch. So I'll root for uh, GS, like you said, I, I guess you said he's an old school player. I, I don't think I've actually seen him play before at all. Uh, so from what so someone told me, he has good micro and he's a good player. A player uh, I don't really know much about him, so I'm excited to, to see how he performs here in this final. Uh, Little Tick, as you mentioned, he's the FML champion from last season. Uh, he, he doesn't have the best micro or macro, uh, hardly at all, um, but he embodies uh, what a winning free-for-all player is, especially in today's meta, which is friendly, patient, smart, uh, you know, seizes the opportunities when they come, plays the end game well. So if he doesn't get rushed out early, uh, you know, I expect him to be part of the final uh, of the final players. And then Kumalo, as you said, on a good day, he can take anyone. Um, I've known Kumalo for a long time. Uh, I actually introduced Kumalo to Free For All uh, six, seven, eight years ago, and he joined FML a few seasons after that. Uh, since then, uh, he's been a staple. He's been, you know, one of the best, if not the best human player a lot of the seasons, really consistent, strong micro, smart player. Um, fun to watch. So a couple interesting things. Uh, Kumilo took this expansion, not his natural first, but he took this one. Uh, he even lost his militia time by the time he got there. But because this is the old Twilight and not the, the newer version of Twilight, the creeps are a little bit easier. They only have one of these deep seers, so you can creep this um, without militia. So that's what he did, kind of taking the greedier macro route. Um, last thing, and then I'll, uh, I'll let you go, high tech. So. In this game here, guys, when, when people start free-for-all games, the idea is, is all about macro. So you're trying to get your initial expansion up, uh, get level three pretty much, and then get your shredder as well. And then if you can get a second expansion before your tech is up, that's great. So just to check on this here, guys. So Junkersam has his shredder early. He has his first and his second expansion, and he's level three. Uh, GS does not have his, sh oh, he does have his shredder. Uh, doesn't have his second expansion yet so he is teching to tier three a little bit quicker tech maybe going for this red spot before his second expansion not quite of a um greedier macro build looks like pretty much the same thing for little tick hasn't taken his second expansion either but again he has a shredder so and cumulo also has a shredder so they're all looking good so far and uh this beginning this beginning came in the portion is really just trying to creep as much as you can get um, your portion of the creeps and expansions and you know begin to tech up and, and uh, get ready to, to you know have your, your greater armies yeah exactly and I mean everyone I guess has access to exactly one lab and one red spot um, so it's pretty like these spawns are pretty much as balanced as, as they could be so um, very very curious to see and and I do think that the tinker is probably the best hero against three humans um, so I, I really do think Yanker has like the best race against this and the best um, and the best heroes so very nice GS. yeah I think so too yeah hopefully uh, I mean you think he'll he'll definitely go priest to the moon right um, I, I would I would favor keeper probably um, I am not a big fan of priestess but um, Depends. Depends. So Keeper of the Grove is kind of the, the flavor of the moment, especially with the buffs and the, the increased uh, tranquility. So yeah. I understand that completely, and I, I actually like Keeper in most cases. Um, but against humans specifically, I, I, I believe that Priest of the Moon is, is very necessary. Um, Starfall to counter tanks is just devastating against human with, with anti-magic potion. If you don't have Starfall, um, you can succumb to losing your main base, and against three humans, um, I think you're gonna get tanked at some point. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and just just a true shot aura on Chims is obviously really really good against tanks and against human as well to try to have that extra DPS to snipe the paladin in between divine shield cooldowns. Uh, you know, take out tanks, etc. Uh, I, I get. I mean, of course, entangle is very good, and tranquility is very good, and keeper is still fine. Um, and you know maybe the fact that he has Tinker Hand Panda can can be effective versus tanks. I would personally go Priest of the Moon, but I, I can see the argument, uh, especially if you prefer Keeper to, to go Keeper. Yeah, I think Tranquility is it just became too strong. You have the base race um, capability, like the additional capability with with uh, Treants, and and Tangle is also 
Like it is very nice to have against three, um, three or nine human heroes running around. So I, I would favor Keeper and expect him to lose his main base anyways, even with Starfall. <laughs> so I, that's why I would favor Keeper, but I mean, I totally see your point, so I think it's valid. Um, do, do you think Mountain Giants uh, would be valid, like, especially later on? We don't, we don't see an Alchemist, by the way, of any of these humans, so that's good for, like, good for Chimeras, <laughs> I might say. So. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, yeah, good point, and I'm glad we don't see an alchemist. Uh, it's, it's definitely an alchemist meta now, but um, no alchemist, so no uh, kind of laming in the end. Yeah. Um, I think it's interesting that that Junkerzyme is already starting to build these ancient of wars at his uh, expansion, obviously preparing <laughs> or, or some kind of attack. And I think that's uh, it's so difficult. Like, I mean, um, arguably Elf is still like, or is still very strong these days, but it's so difficult with these ancient of wars, which were like. It's it were safe bet. Uh, it, it was always a safe bet to place them next to every base or, or mine. But now with new gyros, you you often oh, see only humans with right. like you you do see less humans playing um, tanks actually. So and gyros are just so annoying. The new ones, I I believe. Um, but yes, like with Tinker Panda, he's definitely prepared against it. So right. So what do you think? What what does it tell us that there are three humans in this final? <laughs> so many so um, human players are complaining that humans got over nerfed, but for FFA, actually, I'm not that sure. Yeah, so it's a it's a, it's a good question, and you know people people complained, like you said, a lot with the human nerfs. You know, first of all, tanks going down to or going up to four food from three food. I think was the most necessary change. I was really happy to see that. I've called for that for years. Um, Pallet and Divine Shield being reduced uh, at level three primarily, I think also was a very good change. And so many humans, you know, were so upset. And they were, they were significant nerfs, but really human was so strong. They were clearly the best race in free for all, um, in my opinion. And the nerfs kind of just balanced the scales. Now, it's funny to see that despite the nerfs and despite the human complaining, uh, we still have three humans in the final, like you said. And really what it comes down to, especially in these high-level free-for-all games, is you want to be able to um, have heroes that can play in the end game. You want to have, you know, strong bases, and you want to have strong ways to uh, take out attack. bases, right, and base races and things like that. And human with fortified buildings, uh, with their hero combo, the fact that Paladin can heal... Um, you know, they have the best mechanical units, they have dragon hawks. I mean, they have a lot of utility. Uh, human is still, you know, you can make an argument, uh, the best race. Now, I think that if I had to pick, I'd probably say Elf maybe now has the slight advantage as the best free for all race, but I think all are very close, and uh, it's kind of telling to see that despite the nerfs, we, we still have three humans uh, in the final, as you were saying. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I, just, I mean, MSTP is still such a game winner. If you and Lil Tick showed us in in the previous Players rounds and the previous right season back. how, like, uh, while Noex isn't really active these days, like Lil Tick is really utilizing STP super well. So um, that's like he's he's so good late game, and that makes it so difficult to finish him. Um, so yeah, I I, st I mean STP is still arguably the best skill in FFA. So. Um, yep. Yeah, no, that's, that, that's a good point. And, um, you know, I, have, I haven't seen Little Tick, uh, I haven't observed him play many games. I played against him a couple times. Um, I wasn't aware that he was so good with Mass TP, but that, that's good. I'm, I'm looking forward to see that. You know, Mass TP is a, an ultimate that um, really kind of varies. Like, it's, it's, a tough, it's a tough ultimate to really utilize well. Like, of course, it's, it's extremely good, but most players don't use it that well. But, you know, if you find a player that... that is really, really good at scouting, you know, builds farms around the map, uses invisible units, and basically uses mass teleport every time it's up on cooldown. Uh, it, it's almost impossible to play against. And then if they have a fortified main base where they can defend, um, you know, you're kind of out of options. So uh, this this map, uh, by the way, I think is the, the best map really for mass TP. There's so many different places that you can hide and uh, rebuild 
And, you know, of course, we've seen some of the most epic matches on this map. So um, pr pretty exciting to see, uh, you know, if all these humans get mass TP, it could be chaotic. Yeah. Definitely. So uh, let, let's real quick kind of kind of see where we're at based on the game. So we have the scoreboard here on the top right. So all the players crept the map, and uh, they you know looks like they had pretty even creeping. GS looks good. Five three two creeping. Uh, Jankers four three two. It looks like. Cumulo four four almost three. And it looks like Little Tick probably got the worst of the creeping, although it's pretty similar. Now, people are starting to break already, so the elf is uh, almost 80 food, planning to fight with uh, the blue human, who they engaged a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Jess has not broke 50 yet, so we'll see if that's... Uh, uh, yeah. Purple's going to be able to capitalize on that. And neither... Oh, uh, Lil Tick and G uh, GS hasn't even started his um, third expansion yet, so he will, do so, he will do so just now. And Lil Tick hasn't has just finished it and forgot one peasant next to the town hall. Um, so they are like their third expansions are way behind if you compare it with Cumulo. Um, like almost 7k gold behind, or oh sorry, 5k gold behind, which is which can make a difference. Um, and it seems both like Lil Tick and Yanker Zam are attacking GS here. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, so it's, it's interesting yeah. that, you know, when you play in a four-way game, uh, eventually the two uh, two sets of solos or one-on-ones are going to happen for a little while. And despite, you know, the uh, Junkerzam and Super Kumo being right next to each other, uh, Junkerzam decided to attack the Blue Human. Now, I like this move. Uh, you know, Cumulo is, is more skilled than the Blue Human, right? Yep. And so, Junker attacks Cumulo, he, he, may, he may lose or he may yep. uh, not oh, do as well. So, nice. Yeah, nice save there. I think he so could he have. Yeah. Very nice fight. No, very nice fight. I think he could have used his Squall of Beast, um, Squall of the Beast, on his Panda, and he needs. To, mm, I'm not, not sure if he should have TP'd that early. Maybe a bit careless with his heroes, but it's looking pretty grim for GS. He's lacking lumber. Um, he's not. Where's his? Ah, oh, there is the Shredder. So he's lacking lumber. Yeah, he is. His, uh, his macro wasn't wasn't as good. And, you know, typically when you fight a human player, um, I always recommend to attack them first, to break first. Human requires a whole lot of lumber and takes time to get going, yep. especially if your elf are undead. So if you can get to 80 or 100 food and go against a human player and force him to scramble to start creating an army, uh, you're, you know, you're going to have the upper hand, yep. which looks like he does. And, and then again, I'll say my point, yeah. you know, he decided to attack the other humans at Cumulo, so it's a more winnable situation. And then Lil Tick now is in the same situation, really, as the blue human, where he doesn't have much lumber. He doesn't have an army prepared. He only has 60 food worth of farms. So kind of a mistake, I think, definitely, from both human, from Lil Tick and uh, blue human. Yeah. They didn't create an army to be ready for this. Oh, and he's not microing his gyros well, so he's not... He, I, I think these gyros in masses are definitely superior to these... Elf air armies, like with just four hippos, but he needs to micro them carefully. And yeah, the sure. panda, like the panda, already yeah, low again. Easy. So I think he should have. He should have a potion, or maybe a staff. Oh, oh nice! Very powerful. Well, that rockets, rockets plus panda combo is pretty deadly against yeah. gyros. So there's basically no chance for GS except focusing heroes. I I believe. Um, so yeah, he will lose this mine for sure, and yeah, he's switching to tanks. Might be a bit too late already, and he's having some lumber now, but he needs to be careful. And on the other hand, also Lil Tick lost all his mines. Did you see him offering peace um, against the mine? <laughs> Lil Tick offered peace like after in the initial attack already. So Lil Tick is is known for like for staying on 50 ex for extreme, extremely long. So this, uh, it's a little bit disappointing to see both the blue human and little tick responding so poorly to this first attack. So, I mean, these these players are, are not the most skilled players. Um, they're, they're in final for other reasons. As far as just micro, I mean skilled, but they both they didn't build an army. I mean, they saw, you know, yeah. they, they, they should have seen that purple and cumulo were coming for them and didn't build an army. I agree now, with you. Know, you. Yeah. A, 
Yeah, I agree with that. I, I, I'm not sure if I agree with the micro point. I think Lil Tick is pretty good micro-wise. Like, he's, yeah. he's a pretty decent player. And he, as you see, I mean, that's like his strength. He stays on 50 and he's forcing his enemy back with gyros. And, yeah, yeah. Um, that's like his, his biggest strength. And he's not really losing much to to upkeep, so. Yeah, no, he's, he's actually defending this well. I spoke a little too soon here, probably. And of course, it's a long game. These players aren't going to be eliminated right now. They, they have a lot of gold. But I would have loved to see Little Tick, you know, have an 80 or 100 foot army ready. Yeah, that's... Now, just... <laughs> yeah. But, you know. I agree. Interesting. And yes. I, I wonder if, if Kimulu picked Panda knowing knowing that he, he might may face um, Tick with his gyro. So, um, definitely interesting. Needs to be careful here to not lose um, his paladin. Yeah, Kumo loves uh, a little Zeppelin use there. Kumo loves Panda. I think that's kind of his uh, his, his staple. I know No X played Panda a lot too, but um, I, ca I can hardly remember the last time I've seen uh, Kumo play Mountain King. Yeah, and on the other side, we do see another battle, and it seems this might go a bit better for GS than the last one. At least he manages to kill some of these units, but not really. I mean, this is really not looking well. Not looking yeah, good those Tinker it. Rockets plus Panda are yeah. just uh, obliterating the mechanical units. Yeah, I guess, uh, do you think like a normal caster army, like not, like with some spell breakers mixed with maybe tanks and then some Dragonhawks maybe, something like that would work, but Dragonhawks also bad against rockets, so it's really diff tough to, to, play, to play against this. Yeah, so so you, uh, you 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 hit on the head there. Dragonhawks are really important to play against Elf. Most humans don't use Dragonhawks, uh, especially if the Elf doesn't play Dark Ranger, of course, because they cannot silence uh, the Dragonhawks. So if I was the human, um, I would play an army with gyrocopters and with hawks and breakers. But the Tinker can stop them. The Tinker can stop them. So with the with the rockets, that's like oh I, right. So Plus the rockets. Yeah, yeah, so I think tanks are the right call, but he needed like tanks in his first defense. I think gyros were a mistake. You, you just can't, you just can't play gyros against Tinker, um, Tinker Panda unless you have like 10, 20 k gold or something, um, which he hasn't. So, I think he so needs. I think I, I, think I dis disagree with that. Um, I mean, tanks definitely would have been good. I think regardless if he plays tanks or gyros, he just needed an army to be prepared. So he, yeah, yeah. He, he only had like nine gyrocopters, and then he only had five tanks, you know, against an 80 or 100 food elf. Yep. So I think if he had 24 gyrocopters, or at least 18 plus, and he had six breakers, and then he had four hawks, despite the tinker rockets can cancel the hawks uh, with breakers and a focus with Mountain King on, on a storm bolt on the, on the hero, Come in with the hawks afterwards. Shackle the chims. Use gyros on the on the hippogriffs. Um, you know, if he had enough of an army, he could have took took down the elf. Yeah. Now, with that being said, uh, the elf is not really uh, going for the jugular on, on blue, and maybe that's the best thing to do, right? Uh, he doesn't want to be teamed so much. He's in a really good position as far as he grabbed his fourth expansion. Um, but I, I wonder if it's not better for him to, to take out, to try to press and take out blue. Yeah, I think it's like risky. That. If you want to keep like this fourth expansion, I, I guess you need to, you need to go hundred and at least damage the human a bit more. I, I feel like uh, we'll, we'll see soon enough. But as soon as um, GS hits level six on his um, on his archmage, it won't be easy anymore to really finish him. So. Right, and he's he's almost a hundred food now, um, so he's going to be able to defend. Yeah. So. Um, in the meantime, uh, just, <laughs> sorry. His account is, is Yane in the obs. He's mentioning how he's uh, it annoys him that these guys are talking so much, and you know that's kind of a kind of my complaint a little bit too with with uh, the way that free for all has kind of been going more recently. But uh, at the same time, I'm uh, you know that's still great games and great players and a great game type but really in this case in the in the final these players want to win so bad because of course it's the final and only one player wins so naturally there's going to be a lot of manipulation there's got to be a lot of you know different tactics other than just playing to try to win the game you know it's it's 
ultimate winner go home situation here. So yep. you have to understand that a little bit and appreciate that. Um, but we'll see. At least there's a lot of action so far, and uh, you know the game is is good so far. I think, and it it should continue to be. Yeah, and oh, while while main. yeah while saying that, um, they'll take losses, man. <laughs> Never breaking sixty supply. Like he's sixty one now. So wait, does he not have a peasant? Um. Oh, he has one one peasant in his in zeppelin, zeppelin down here. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> and he has seven k gold. So I mean, this time he may have. Oh, oh, and he's on the island, top, top right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this time it may have been like, he may have took it too far with the like staying, fifty supply. Yeah, you know. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, to see Little Tick win in the way that he's won a lot of games, you got to respect it. He's been smart and patient and 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 stuff. But people just haven't tried to take him out, you know. And uh, Cumulo, to his credit, has. And Little Tick is in kind of a poor position, and he didn't build an army. He kind of did it to himself. So, yep. um, yeah, it makes I'm, sense. I'm I'm happy that Cumulo this time plays a bit more aggressively. Like I, I saw some strange games this season by him, like. This this one game where he just hoarded like the first round where he just hoarded on market forever, and okay. um, like he did nothing and then teamed teamed Ashan cross map for no reason, so that was a bit strange. Um, but he won the game, so I guess yeah, you could argue he played it well. Sure. And it's so this is <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. I mean, this is a difficult situation for. I, and I wonder why is Kimula, why isn't Kimula finishing the tick? Like this is exactly what oh, we're look, talking about. Going to the purple elf. Yeah, exactly. So and that's I, super I love risky. How is playing right now. He's playing aggressive. He took out the human. He didn't just decide to go down to eighty or fifty. He's trying to kill the elf now, and uh, he I feels he can uh, win this game now. But I'm not sure that's like the right call. He will get team three v one right now. Um, so I don't think this was. I, I think it was too early. Like I think he. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I think you're right, probably. But I do, I do love. Uh, I, it's the great for us. For yeah, this. it's great for us that the game isn't stalling, but like just action continues. But I don't. I, I think he needed to finish a little tick, and one v two maybe, but not. Uh, lost the panda. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah, probably probably in hindsight not a not the best move, but but I I, I do like I do like it. Yep. And he, tr I mean, he needs a TP at some point. Like, why is he TP? <laughs> like, he he will only lose more. Oh no, he's killing some more units, but he would probably lose all these griffins. Like, maybe he wants to drop to 50. He's killing his own griffins here. <laughs> So do you think he used this just to get some experience and maybe break drop down to fifty? Yeah, but to be honest, I mean, I, I I don't like that was exactly what you were saying. Like Little Tick is still alive with seven k gold, so Cumulo is like needs to revive his MK now and needs to like need some time. So Little Tick is can still hurt you like with seven k gold, and soon. Mass TP, like soonish. Sure. Yeah, it's funny that despite Little Tick not having expansions for pretty much the whole game, he still has 7k gold. Yeah. Look at Cumulo, day 50 junker, and you on me. So let's see. So, you know, after that, uh, most players, after Cumulo would just come and interrupt their one one and hit their main, most players instinctively would go back and hit Cumulo, and that would punish Cumulo right now. But maybe he was thinking, calculated that if he breaks and attacks Junker, that afterwards, if it doesn't work out, he can chat and kind of get him to not react. And it seems like that's kind of what ha what's happening. So maybe that worked out for, for Cumulo. We'll see. Yeah. It was definitely an interesting move. Um, I, I don't think it's it's necessarily worth doing so. I think it's always more valuable to get, like, to eliminate a fourth player. Like, it, I, I think the biggest, like, the biggest increase of your of your own win chances happens once the fourth player gets eliminated. So that's, like, the, I think the biggest increase of, of your own, um, like, chance of winning. 
So I think that should always be a top priority. Mm. But yeah, we we will see if I mean potentially they'll take will just like stay under the radar but will never get back into this game. But I I think he, he can definitely become a threat to any of these players. So you mentioned uh early about mountain giants. Mm -hmm. And obviously we see mountain giants uh, rampant in the solo scene, or we did for a while. Um, but yeah, MGs are, are, are really good against against human. Uh, especially, like I said, if there's there's not an undead player that's really good in the game, or an orc, where you, you really can't really go an Ancient of Lore army. Against human, you can. Now, obviously yeah. it's not as, as mobile, um, but mountain giant, this is just an army of mountain giants and dryads. Is really good against human. A human is forced to make mortars uh, to counter dryads. Obviously, dryads are immune to griffins, yeah. and uh, mountain giants dominate tanks. So it's a really good army. Um, yeah, I, but some else really just don't don't ever try to play that. Yeah, I totally agree. I I also personally should play play them more often. It's sometimes like it's it's a, like a strange unit sometimes against. Uh, multiple races it's like more simple against human I, I i think but if you play against multiple races and you're stuck with like five to ten mountain giants it's it can, it can turn into dead supply pretty quickly but um in this scenario i think it's like it's a perfect unit and also with taunt this double taunt against gyros which are already difficult to micro um <laughs> i think it can become very difficult to micro against it like if your gyros get taunted all the time so Sure. Think. A town is under siege. And we will see another fight between GS. So I think this, like, it worked. But it worked out pretty well for Kimono. He secured himself. Yeah, it really, and it really it, did. An additional mine. On the other hand, I mean, if they scout well, they know that he has this this additional mine, so they expect him to have some gold in in his pocket. But he is quite ahead gold-wise already. Like he's at 20k, and I'm not sure the other players but know. He's that far. Um, he's that far, um, far off. Right. Yeah. He really, he really crushed Little Tick um, at the beginning, and Little Tick did survive and hang on. But like you said, he he grabbed one of his expansions here, and held on to a lot of gold. And yeah. then when he hit the elf, um, of course he didn't make it a three way. But I think there's value to be found when there's four players remaining, and you find spots where you can take out a lot of players gold and feed experience yourself so when he attacked the elf unexpectedly and not only did he stop the elf from toming uh the blue human as much but he also like the elf probably lost like i don't know 3k gold or something like that he lost buildings he had to you know he like i said he couldn't press the blue human so it really was a big hit on the elf economy and then for cumulo on the other hand he he lost some units he fed some experience he lost his panda but he went down in food counts he weakened the purple elf, and he probably sees at this point where Junker is going to be his main competition, or his biggest threat at least. A because you know he's arguably in the best position outside of Cumulo, and B because he has a, a really good hero combo versus human. So the fact that he went to weaken him and then didn't get any kind of uh, counter attack or counter blow from the elf, uh, you know, worked out really well for him. Yep, yeah, definitely. And it seems to me that Yanker is a bit undecisive what to do right now. Like, he's just walking north to south and, and back north. I, I think he's, like, undecided whether to attack Cumulo again or GS now. And that's a fair point. I mean, being in his shoes, I think it could be best to to get Lil Tick out. Just to not get teamed, like, 1v3. But, or 3v1. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I guess, in my uh, history in FML games, I've often misplayed a situation. Or if I start out the game, and I win the first engagement, or I start out dominant, and I end up being teamed or whatnot, and yep. I don't deal with the three-way as well. So I guess in this case, I, I if I was Cumulo, I, I understand not wanting to eliminate Little Tick because he doesn't want to be teamed from the other two players. But then at the same time, like you said, if you don't eliminate him and Lil Tick has gold, you know, it might come back to bite him in the ass. Yep. 
And Lilithic, like, he knows what he's doing. Like, he will just pretend to be weak. He has... He has around 20k to mine still. No, okay, 15... 17k to mine still. And um, although he's 80, like, he will get, let's say, 15k out of it in the end. And he, like, he, he will probably be at, like, 15k gold. And that might be enough. If he's, like, saving a lot of gold, he's not like getting a lot of protection buildings again so he will just like sit and try to stay alive and he even has the island already which maybe no yeah, one's seen that no one's going to scout probably before like the one hour mark so uh, let, let's talk about items uh, real quick yeah I would, and uh, yeah sorry go ahead free for all it's really important to build your heroes with correct items yep. to maximize their efficiency and um, investing in items in free-for-all especially is uh, you know super efficient because of course your heroes are gonna level up throughout the game and they're gonna be your main source yep. of power so if we're looking at um, let's see uh, Jankers or Yankers heroes uh, he's got an endurance aura on the tinker which is really nice yeah um, claws of attack is, is interesting um, I don't play tinker that much but I don't mind the claws of attack obviously he can uh, raid bases really well and tanks really well. Um, I may prefer prep to vitality in some regard. Um, I, I was however... about to, yeah. Uh, sorry, go ahead. You finish. No, that's first. okay. Um, he can't. I mean, and when he's in his form, he can't be bolted. Mm -hmm. But chims can definitely hit him and hurt him. So he may be a little bit vulnerable. What do you think? Yeah, Claws definitely. That was perhaps. that would have been, or that was one of the questions I, I was about to ask you earlier. I, I think these claws are. I don't. Like, I always sell claws um, as an elf um, without having Demon Hunter. I think any other item is more valuable for you. And in this case, he's not having a single scroll of healing. So in this case, I would definitely sell, like, the, these two claws. I would sell the Ankh on the Panda. Mm -hmm. um, and I so I think he, he needs, like, a scroll of healing. I think elf needs triple staff. Um, so... I th that's must have in my eyes, like triple staff. Um, as you say, I mean, this clause can be handy, can um, come in handy when it, it comes to base race. But since we are not there yet, I don't. I think it's it's a waste of item slots. So right, yeah, yeah. I think you make good points there, um, for sure. And really, it just comes down to with elf, like you said, you really need scrolls and you really need staff. So you don't have uh, many free slots available. Now he does already have endurance and he does have unholy aura already, so that's great. Yeah. Now with elf, even I would consider selling the brilliance aura. The cutcass. Um, yeah, yeah. I was also about to say it's it can be nice, like in early fights, if you if your heroes are not high level with these huge mana mana pools. Um, right. But I, I definitely would sell it to later. I think. Yeah, that's definitely and and he's using this hunt to to get like a sentinel, maybe not knowing that the sentinel was nerfed. They go away now. And they yeah. go away. <laughs> right. Uh, I know yeah. he put the one here, it's gonna be gone pretty soon. Yeah. One um, hunt now Brilliant Aura on these three heroes specifically could still be good. I can get that, but yeah, I would sell the Brilliance Aura. Um I would like you said, I would sell the Ankh. I would sell both those claws. Um that would free up room for two scrolls. Uh, maybe even two scrolls and a scroll of protection. Um, I also prefer three staffs on my heroes. Some players only use two, and if they're used to that and they don't put one on their panda, then that's okay. Um, I don't think you need a staff of teleportation, really, at this point. Um, I, I get the idea. You yeah. use your panda, you use the mana, you staff them, and then you staff of teleport back. Uh, definitely very good, like how Trunks plays Demon Hunter. That's kind of a personal preference kind of thing. Yep. Um, but again, he's got the clause nine on the panda he can sell, or you just well you moved it, the clause twelve on the tinker. Um, one thing that he should get that he doesn't have is he should sell the brilliance aura, in my opinion, and then he can look for a pendant of energy for the panda. Yeah, exactly. So can, I, I would, yeah, I, exactly. And also, I just realized he has no boots on his panda. That's like a must-have. Oh, oh, of course. And yeah. boots on the panda. For sure, boots on the panda. So, I mean, despite the, the Legion Doom horn, I think he needs he needs some boots. So, I, I, I don't think that's... I think that's like an inventory of a player who often plays random and not only Elf, maybe. Um, mm. and Maybe. Just a wide guess, but I, I don't think it's like a perfect inventory, but it's I, I think it's okay. You can work with yeah, it. Yeah, it's still fine. I mean, he's still got really good items. Um, we're, we're nitpicking a little bit, but just, just trying to find the, the optimal yeah. inventory. 
if you look so at if you yeah if you look at like GS um, in the top right, I don't think that's like good inventory. <laughs> I think no. it's a very wild mix of, of um, items. I do think like it's something like Ring of Protection plus two at this point can just be sold. It's like not, not right. a good item on this on this hero in particular. Like, All right, so let's let's check out this battle here on the top yeah. left. Uh, Cumulo oh, decided yeah. to go 100 food, uh, 100 food, inner fire priest griffin, uh, tank army. Really, really going to be difficult for Janker, especially not on 100. But we'll see. So see, this is this is a case where I, I would love to have uh, Priest of the Moon uh, to scout this out and have Shushadora. Yeah, I like the glaive. Right. Yeah, well. I like the glaive. You can like with oh, this nice. with this high level Tinker, um, the Panda, the glaive in the background, which is he tries to ke kill him, but he isn't really focusing it. And I, I think maybe with the Wisp dispelling the inner fire could be even better. But he has no problem forcing him back. So yeah, he fought this back just fine. And this Tinker Panda combo is su such a problem for human to deal with. Okay, my, he might lose. Oh, okay, he like exposed himself a bit too much, maybe. Um, yeah, he did. Losing, losing his cameras. And and with Elf, you're really trying to just get waves of Panda and waves of Tinker and use your, your spells. Um, like you said, I, I do like the Glaive Thrower. I don't think uh, human has seen that yet. But uh, pretty solid defense here by the Elf. You never, you know, you don't want to see 100 food uh, tanks in your main. No. But good job here. Yeah, on one hand, good job. I don't think he has a good base layout. Like, his his Moonwells are, are, are a bit out of reach. I mean, some of these Moonwells were killed uh, in the south, but I, it, it's not not a great base, I, I'd say. So yeah, I think it's a bit too... Yeah, I, d I, don't, I don't love it either. I, I don't hate it. Um, no, I saw worse. Yeah, but it's it, it could be better. So Cumulo's got 100 food, 25k. He's got a level 6 Archmage. So if he wanted to, especially while it's daytime now, all these wells are, are used, right? Like, he has some wells yep. in the back that have juice. If he, if he sees that, like, he could really put the pressure on and start mass TPing into the elf main. Of course, he doesn't have uh, the hunt central anymore, and he doesn't have a Priest of the Moon to scout with an owl. So... An invisible unit uh, is super effective. The only thing Elf can do without a Priest of the Moon, really, is continue to buy Dust of Appearances, which, you know, sucks. So, Cumulo definitely could go in with, with 100 food army and keep Mass TPing in his main. We'll see if he decides to do that or not. I mean, if he does, uh, you would think that he would have good enough heroes to, to clean up the rest of the game, perhaps. Yep. Um, but we'll see. And I think the base, that's like one other factor in building such this kind of main base. I think it, it's a huge mistake, like personally, um, by by elves to free to free up um, one side of the main bay, base trees. Like he, he used his shredder to completely um, harvest all these trees at south, which makes it and also north. So it's almost impossible to close this main. I think it's like right. on, on Twilight, you, you do you can build pretty nice bases against humans, um, like closing it up. And I, I do think that like the the human has to invest like at least one more hundred food in order to really break it if it's like equal levels and and hundred against hundred. And this main base is like if he really wants to and masterpiece in while he isn't there, he can definitely kill like both main trees and maybe. Yeah, half of these protection buildings, so... Yeah. All right, let's see. So he's coming back here now. Yep. And he needs to focus down the the panda, I guess. Like, the panda is dealing so much damage. But these cluster rockets, so good against these tanks. He needs to unroot his engine of wars. Um, also, another thing he should do. But it's... It, yeah, it can be a lot. Like, the mountain giant joining the fight. Oh, oh, the keeper. keeper. Oh. Nice. So one thing about Cumulo is he's uh, he's got good micro and he's really good at using Blizzard and applying pressure. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you're defending against a human, you, you need to oh, keep Oh, what is he alive. doing? What's he doing? Oh, shit. And his keeper, too. Yeah. Keeper and the panda. He's... He... Oh, keeper's down. Yeah, he needs to use his moon wells. Like, he needs to walk to the very back to use his moon wells. But so it you, seems see, you see this army that Cumul has right now? Oh, there's Hippogriff now. Yeah, he needs he to he fly in. Forgot about them, or? Yeah, I guess. Or he wanted to wait until the tanks oh, are man. gone. Oh man, Elf is really in trouble here. He needs to uh, 
start pumping some units. Yeah, and the Tinker might die here. If he wants to. And that's like... So he doesn't have an altar? Oh, there he is. And maybe he knew that GS was going to play very passively. And, like, GS could... Like, it, it could become a huge factor um, in, in this game that GS isn't really active, like an active player. He's just sitting. And he might sit too long if this continues for for much longer. Oh, nice heal. Back to global form, but he might die nonetheless. He needs to be staffed here. OTP. Oh, oh he doesn't use his there. TP. Um, but... Yeah, I, I don't think... Did all the hippos die? Well, at least it was... Did they all die? I guess. Okay, there are some. So no one is uh, still hitting Cumulo despite Elf dying. So I was gonna say, this uh, army composition that Cumulo has is just crushing uh, Chippo, Chimps and Hippos, right? Because you have the Panda, which yep. is great versus Chippo. You have constant Blizzard harassing. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Um, and again, this he should have countered with with uh, dryads, right? Human has no mortars, so uh, if he had eight dryads, he can just easily pick off those griffins one by one. And then some mountain giants is fine. Um, you can even have chims. You could have an army of chims and dryads. The hippogriffs in this case are, are ineffective. If he had chims and dryads, he would have fought this back a lot easier. Now, on the other hand, I mean, it's like dryads are such a gamble, and XP tones, um like running, walking XP tones. And if the panda is level 7, so earth, like the, the earth, how is it called, earth, storm and fire, um, is so good against strides. So I, I do think it's strides are always such a gamble. Um, but on the other hand, I mean... I mean it, yeah. Panda is a good counter to dryads, but other than panda, he has nothing to counter them. That's true. And, and dryads are very, very good against griffins. They can't be blizzard. They can't, they're yeah. not affected by blizzard, not affected by panda, by griffins, by tanks. Um, if he forces the panda to go into Earth, Wind, and Fire, then, you know, so be it. So Cumulo, he's, he was the most aggressive uh, early on. Yep. He weakened his main competition next to him in a questionable move that ended up working out well for him. Uh, there wasn't a counterattack against him. No one has really applied any pressure on Cumulo at all. Yep. Uh, he hasn't had to scramble at all. The other three players definitely have all had pressure on them. So Kumo is just in a sweet spot. He still has a ton of gold. Yep. 24k. He has the best heroes, 100 food. Uh, this looks like his game to win here. So we'll see if these players can uh, can uh, can figure it out and uh, yep. weaken Kumo down enough now. I wonder why he isn't finishing any of these players. Like now he should. I I like personally. I think he should go for Yunker. Like try to finish him. Like it, none of these other players the seem to help him. So I, I think. It's it's from it might be his win condition to finish one of these players, or they will right. start to team him three v one at some point. And I do you think GS or Lil Tick should have like dropped to dropped to fifty at some point? Like they lost so much gold, they could be could have been um, at, at way higher gold counts, I believe, at least twenty k both. Yeah, definitely. In hindsight, it looks like they could have been fifty for some time. No. And it seems GS what's is under pressure here? now. Um, and GS my is, game is my game is frozen. Ooh, you dropped. Am I lagging? It seems. Yeah, you dropped. Um, are you serious? That sucks. I'm sorry. My, inter my internet is fine. Yeah, I guess it's it's Blizzard. <laughs> let's let's blame Blizzard. <laughs> wow, unreal. Yeah, let's. I mean, did I drop? At least it tells me that you left the game, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, sorry. That's bad. I mean, probably still better than one of the players, so let's hope they s no one else disconnects. Well, I mean, I'm the host of the game. But that doesn't matter anymore with the new host structure. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, it's like... It's Dude, Blizzard, what the hell? Server. Fuck. Yeah. Really, I, I really hope they, they're going to fix these disconnect issues. 
It really sucks. So my game is like, I'm not, I'm not frozen. I'm not disconnected. I'm oh, just, no, you just, just yeah, just I'm out. Yeah, desynced from the from the server. Yeah, really sucks. <laughs> so you you can like I guess <laughs> that would mean you can only like cast with a five fifty minute delay. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, yeah, that really sucks. I'm trying to think. I mean, I could join your stream, but I don't. I'm not an observer in the game now. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's really well, sucks. That, that's unfortunate. All right, man. Well, I'll uh, I'll, I'll check out I'll check out your stream uh, in a little while then. Yeah, I mean, let's hope. Uh, no, I mean. Let's hope none of the players disconnects. If so, maybe they decide to re like to remake the game, and we would be able to like join again. But yeah. So so what's going on in the game right now? I'm out, and the game is going. Yeah, I mean it was just you um, disconnecting, as it seems, so no one else affected. At least for now. Yeah. Um, let's hope it remains like that. Um, yeah. It's, it seems that Kimono is just scouting at the moment. Little take, taking a second island as expected. <laughs> um, Let me ask you about this other island. He has all sure. these arcane towers up there. Mm -hmm. But what's the point of so many arcane towers? Um, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I guess they are great for scouting late game. So I guess that's the point. Um, right, and you can mass CP onto them. Right, but and I would think that you'd want guard towers to destroy like a zeppelin, right? Yeah, but on the other hand, like he has ten. 10 arcane towers with a very long range, so I guess a Zeppelin would die to that anyways. You think uh, so? Yeah, yeah, for sure, I think. Like, with like, 3 or 4 hits by by each of by all of these arcane towers, mm. a Zeppelin would die. And, uh, like, Chimeras could attack guard towers anyway, so... Right, right. Um, so I don't think it's... I, I think late game, um, the reveal can be really good. So, I think it's a good call, um, thinking about it. Um, but... Yeah. yeah, I I okay. assume he he will lose them at some point. Um, apparently, like I, I to be honest, I'm not sure about like Griffins. Like, as Griffins, like Griffins need to be in range of guard towers in order to attack them. So I guess yeah, it would be better against Griffins to have guard towers. But Lil Tick may not remain alive for much longer as Kimono is attacking him in his main base and. He has no apparently has no chance of defending. So, um, ah, sorry, it's 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 GS attacking here. GS is trying to finish Lil Tick, and Yanker is helping him. No, is helping GS. So GS and Yanker are both trying to get some experience off Lil Tick, so that feels really bad. <laughs> um, yeah. And All right, man. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, tell sure. people on my stream to join your stream. Uh, it's too bad sure. I disconnected, but uh, I'll come join you. Go. All right, yeah. man. Well, thank thanks, you. Thanks for uh, casting with me, and, and uh, we'll check it out on your stream. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. So yeah, check out uh, the the FA Masters stream now. I'll go ahead and link it in the chat. It's gonna be at twitch.tv slash FFA Masters League. And uh, again, I, I disconnected. Uh, apparently, my game is frozen. Hightech is still there, all the players are still there, so that's good news. Uh, check out that stream, it's going to be uh, just Hightech casting from this point forward. Uh, we, we should have a good finisher. Thanks, Xe. And we do see... Maybe one, one of the last biggest big fights breaking out right here, as Kimolo is fighting in GS's main, and um, apparently Kimolo Having only Griffins in here is not like the perfect army against all these tanks, but um, he might be able to pick off some further some further spellbreakers here to get some experience. And his tanks, on the other hand, are killing some of GS production and potentially the castle. Oh, he will be able to kill the castle That's if he wants to. He may not want to kill it. I guess he wants to. So, with Yanker, Yanker not helping Lil Tick, and Yanker not helping GS either, 
I assume this is like good news for Kimono. Kimono being up to 24k gold against um, 15k of Lil Tick, who has no main base really. Some production, but no main base. Not sure what he's doing or what his plans are. Um, GS also using his main base. So he's tacking already at the north. Um, Yanker going to help him now. And this might be like oh, the class of rockets sliding too late. This might be the point in time to realize <laughs> to realize how strong Kimolo is. So um, I mean, it's always tough to say. Like it's yeah, it's always tough to call when when it's too late to team someone um, or to team someone down to where it's like acceptable again um, and he's at 23k gold he has a good main base with some cannon towers a lot of guard towers um, he has great hero levels so he's in a great spot on the other hand against Tinker or with Tinker and um, facing another or other, another two players with um, with human heroes it can like these three players turning against you can can lead to you losing your main base pretty quickly <laughs> and these hermit crabs town not is under having a long life and Kimolo trying to convince Lil Tick to help him which I don't think would make much sense at this point. A town is under siege. And Yanka really has to be careful to not lose any heroes or even units here. He is at 97 supply, but only at 1,500 gold. So that's not much. And if they don't team, if they don't team well coordinated, um, in a well coordinated manner, then this could be it pretty quickly. And with these heroes, Yanker definitely the biggest threat to um, Kimula right now. And Kimula might lose his main base here. Yeah, okay, he surely will lose his main base here. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a good main base snipe, but unless GS is going to help him, um, I don't see him like fighting against the entire human army in this main base so might be even, might be even good for Kimolo to lose his castle here as he can use that as a mana level 5 mk for gs who has archmage level 6 so he has mass tp GS doesn't really seem to know what to do, and attack. I mean, he has lost his main base also, and so <laughs> basically ev everyone but Cumulo has lost his main base, and that makes it very difficult to act because you don't want, like, you can't really risk losing too much, or you, like, you're not far from, from totally eliminated, so... Um, and uh, 
I mean, Yankiri has no main base, but his army and his heroes are still pretty impressive. You, so you don't want to like help him too quickly. And it seems they are approaching Cumulus main base together. <laughs> and let's see if Lil Tick is able to catch up gold wise. Uh, he's he's at 13k gold, which already is way more than um, way more than GS and Yucker have. Are under so Forces are under attack. Interesting fight coming up. So we'll see how. Yeah, okay, no chance. Without GS helping, there's really no chance for Younger to fight this. Forces are under attack. Now, yeah, Diaka really needs this keeper to hit level five quickly. Player's forces are under attack. Town is under siege. GS with 69 supply against this 100, so that's not a fight he can take against the Panda. <laughs> and Cumulus Main is stretched out so far to the south, so even if it appears to be weak from the north, it's still a pretty huge main base. And the fact that he gets additional flowers is really like. <laughs> It's really an indicator for him having a lot of gold left. A player's forces are under attack. Not sure if that's the right move by Yanker. A town is under siege. Player's forces are under attack.
So where do we stand? GS, 9,000 gold, 69 supply. He lost his initial lane base. He got up a second one. He's lacking some hero levels and um, also some decisiveness. While Cumulo is playing pretty well this game, he has a lot of gold, um, great hero levels. His panda is um, a huge weapon against gyros and also these um, this elf air army. Um, Liltik is sitting a bit too much for my taste this game, so I don't think he will. I, I don't think he's in a, in a good spot right now. I mean, he has gold, but he's really lacking levels. He's not doing much to. Um, to help any of these players, so I don't think they will just... I mean, there's just no point of him sitting. If he doesn't help these other two against um, Cumulo, I guess it, it will be Cumulo's game to take. Um, and Yanker, I, I think, played very the well. Um, that's really attack. not too much for him to do here. I think he will, he will lose rather sooner than later. Um, especially since like none of these humans are really helping him a lot, so um, a town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, Yanker on the island, so. That's that island will be difficult to take. A town is under siege. It seems Liltik realizes at this point that his only chance to, f to victory will I involve some some um, teaming against Cumulo. A player's forces are under attack. Town is under siege. Yeah, Yanka are really in a tough spot here, so Yeah, Yanka is in a really tough spot. He can't really do much here. Um, question is, a town is under siege. Question is, will Liltik arrive in time before this fight is already over? Player's forces are under attack. Ninety-eight supply for for Cumulo and Lil Tick with this gyrus might not be able to kill much. Uh, so Blizzard and Cluster Rockets great spells against these tanks, but the gyrus are kind of useless, uh, honestly. So, curious to see how much damage these players can take, uh, can deal. Um, will be definitely interesting to see how many bullets they, they are going to kill. And I think Lilitik should help it should help here instead of killing some of the buildings so
player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. So the Tinker is chasing some of these tanks. Interesting teaming, so I don't think they will be able to really kill him. Um, unless Yanker uses his his air units. But I mean Kimo isn't really losing much reward. Like he just lost one to two K in, in this attack. So They really need to go all in. Yeah, I believe they need, like, they need these cameras, or they will have no chance against uh, against it. Kimura is supply blocked at 96, so his farms are uh, quite exposed. Here, so you can only hope to not lose a lot more farms. Under so Kimolo dropping to 91. The Tinker isn't around. Seems Kimuro, yeah, okay, Kimuro is TPing back in right now. And I assume Tick will just focus, try to focus down these towers. So his gyros do have, I mean, his gyros could deal a lot of damage, honestly. If he would use them, a player's forces are under attack. The town is under siege. So really heavy teaming going on. Still a huge main base, but now his gyros are free to free to join the fray from the from the west. So this is very difficult to deal with for Kimono. Um, basically having one enemy on each side of the map. So. Panda being blocked, a uh, paladin being blocked. A player's forces are under attack. And he lost 20 supply, so that definitely hurt him. Oh, and GSTP has to keep back, and he has one spellbreaker here, so I guess he should go for the counter attack immediately. Oh, maybe you can. F yeah, I, I assume this panda is just. Yeah, this panda is just too big. Oh, but no paladin. So he's losing the archmage. The paladin is back home. So. That's really bad news for Kimolo. So without Master P, he's really not too mobile. Um, so. Oh. Yeah, I, I agree with them, like, they can't really stop him. I mean, even without knowing that he has mess gold still. Town is under 
under siege. A player's forces are under attack. I would like to see Pocket Factory. I think it could be more efficient against buildings if there's no army around. One Pocket Factory deals so much damage. So, one Pocket Factory here in the very back. Could be really nice, but he seems to save his mana for Cluster Rocket, so... And that's what we meant earlier when when saying that Cumulus should have erased one of these players. I think he sh could have easily taken um, taken the fight against two at some point, but against three, it's always rough. And I'm not a fan of Kimura getting additional towers. I think these towers are a sign of, of gold. So I think he would be better off just saving for units and um, like stacking his heroes with items or the best items he can get. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, he found another tree of Yanker Zam, so. Players' forces are under attack. Jess seems to. Ah, oh, he lost his he lost his archmage. I didn't get that. Sorry. And Jess seems to be back in passive mode, potentially. So we'll see what's going to happen. <laughs> in this situation, it's really difficult for Cumulo without... Like, a panda is great in fights, and also great in, like, Hero Arena, but in this case, against Harass, it's just way more difficult to deal with this Tinker. Um, uh, the, the Tinkerer has to be, like, can do whatever he wants, uh, which he, he couldn't really against MK. So MK with, with the Bash. There's always a risk of, of getting bashed and not being able to to mess to uh, to staff out. So Players' forces are under attack. <laughs> yeah, Cumulus played it well on one hand, but it may have been the better better way to just finish Lil Tig earlier, so... He sold his staff! Interesting. I mean, he needs the gold desperately, but still. <laughs> he found it. Ah, okay, no, he, he put the staff here to sell the item that was here.
Yeah, I wonder what G has is doing. Like, is he scouting or is he? I guess Cumulo will do everything trying to finish trying to finish Yanker here to get rid of the Tinker. And I wonder okay, there's this one tree left, but Players' forces are under attack. Town is under siege. Yeah, Cumulo seems to go for this. These two Moonwells, hoping that these are the last ones, and that could lose him some gold. I believe. Uh, I mean, this this air army is c quite scary, and way superior to these few hippos. So. Yeah, so he. Yanker should lose it all here. Yeah, so this was a big <laughs> tomb of experience for. Um, This was a big tome of experience uh, for Cumulo, so... Players' forces are under attack. <laughs> Ooh, the chase is on, and it seems... One team of these gyros has died. So. Little tick, so close to STP. <laughs> One experience point away from STP, which he needs so desperately. So he should kill one of these towers. Never played Island matches, so <laughs> well, welcome. <laughs> It seems to me as Cumulo, as if Cumulo tries to preserve some of his gold right now. A 
Patriot's forces are under attack. Yeah, the tick should really go for like one more tower here just to get the just to get the level six. Level six archmage is such a huge deal, especially against this panda. A player's forces are under attack. Ah, uh, there's the XP. Oh, he found he found uh, some hawks. Oh, the hawks found him. <laughs> A town is under siege. <laughs> oh yeah, he's catching the the dragon hawks, so that's really bad news <laughs> for Kimulu. So that's like a lot of gold and a lot of experience to get. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a lot of experience for. Well, maybe not. I don't know. But is MK close to level six? So that will be a huge deal. Still, so many towers left. So one, two, three, four, five. So I, uh, it seems to me as if they really need Yanker with these two heroes. So he managed to revive the keeper. Honestly, I'm not sure that's really worth it. Or maybe it never died. Oh no, maybe it never died. I will, I'm I'm not sure. But keeper had some items, so he probably revived to sell some of them and he has enough gold to get one more tree of life on oh, no. well almost two so you can get two to three more tree of lives but the longer the game goes the more likely it is that all of his trees and buildings will be scouted so i think yeah younger shouldn't waste too much time Players forces are under attack. The unholy aura is really nice for right now. The situation. They found this farm, so
need to be really seized. careful here with this Archmage. Nice round by Q. Needs a TB. Oh, he lets him die. And he's supply blocked. So, that's really bad for him. Players forced to under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Yeah, really tough, tough situation. And it seems, it seems Yanker and Cumin basically peace. So um, it's interesting. I mean, Yanker hasn't has has only his two heroes or three heroes and and a couple of buildings. So he needs to be careful to not get um, get attacked here. But apart from that, I do think they will need him at some point. Um, in order to kill at least parts of this of this attack. base, it's just too big, I think. So they can't really deal much damage. <laughs> oh, and. Little Tick might find these gyros here at the bottom right. A player's forces are under attack. Behind. A town is under siege. Another bad breath by Kimono. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Players' forces Ooh, are nice, pawn, nice body block.
Slayer's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Needs to be careful here with this paladin. But in the meantime, yeah, a little tick manages to kill some of these farms. So. There's just no chance of killing these this uh, panda unless killing him fails to uh, only light him. And now oh, yeah, with the under attack. Oh the archmage in a tough spot. is under siege. Tough spot for Kimono. He could tavern him, but that would just reveal that he's still there. So I guess he would just pretend to be dead at some point. But they might be able to kill this panda and also some of the towers. Oh, that's very bad news for Kimono. So I guess they should at least kill these towers. game at this point. So the player's forces are under attack. Town is under siege. The player's forces are under attack. Let's <laughs> see, nine K, yeah, six K, Kimono also six K, so it's pretty equal. Kimono has. A lot of buildings still, but it's under heavy pressure and has the best team moves, obviously. But Panda falls a bit off in this in this um, hero arena scenario, so.
nice stab last second. But out of mana almost and I mean lucky for him that Panna is also out of mana so but I don't think yeah I don't think he should fight here. He should just move back. Players' forces are under attack. And I don't think there's much point for Yanko to help um, anyone at this point. I mean, a three way is probably the best that can happen to him, so. And this island could is really become an issue for them. So curious to see how they're going to eliminate this island. Under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Let's be careful with this Archmage here. Oh, it's this round. <laughs> Who dies first? Oh, the Archmage, STP. Is under <laughs> nice save of the Archmage. Very nice. Nicely done. A player's forces are under attack. It's really looking not so good for, for Cumula anymore. I, I'd say if they continue teaming, he has not much left. So this peasant is almost the last one, I guess. Nice fights here between these two players. Oh, the Panda ultimate. So, it's very careful here. A player's forces are under attack. And he's pumping more, and GS is seeing that.
And with these heroes, I believe Yanker has a decent chance to win this. Obviously, they will have a hard time. Ooh, he cancelled. He cancelled his Master P. Maybe intentionally. Yanker has a lot more items to sell also, so he can get attack. some additional trees for sure. A town is under siege. Staff of this tank. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, the Lilithic is heavily supply blocked right now, so... He needs to use his Divine Shield. Mm -hmm. Bad timing.
GS on 100 supply on 98 supply is in a good position now, but I believe they might team him right now. And Cumulus has strong heroes, so and I'm not quite sure where it's... Ah, okay, so he has some of his supply in this Zeppelin, and it doesn't really look like 100, but I guess that's good for him in this situation. Black Rattle Trap is scouting. Might have oh, the Archmage dying. I was about to say, so these griffins do provide the additional damage that he needs in order to kill something. I'm trying to kill the Storm Panda right now in order to get rid of this. Of these cyclones, losing one or two spellbreakers is, I think, is, is fine. Yeah, especially as he revives them. Level up for the A MK. Forces are under attack. A town is under siege. in your altar and he might be supply stack just in time <laughs> just in time his altar finished oh so many farms going down <laughs> that's really bad for him being <laughs> stuck on 12 supply <laughs> Yeah, GS is in a very good spot right here, but not for long if they really team him out right now. So we could end up in a scenario where everyone Everyone ends up without without a main base really.
player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack.
He's killing all the gyros. <laughs> nice attack by Lil Jake. <laughs> A player's forces are under attack. is under siege. I think the island could become a real issue for the other for the others. I'm not sure how they want to deal with it. I mean mortar could be nice but mortars will die pretty quickly. So that will be interesting for sure. And Kimono will get attacked right now for trying to kill one of the the gyros. Ooh, and this gyro dies as well. Players' forces are under attack. <laughs> Big meeting here, like all four armies.
players' forces are under attack. Ooh, and Liltik is attacking Yanker. A town is under siege. <laughs> He's luring away Yanker from his island. And now he can kill it. That's pretty smart. A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. He's not running away. Oh, and this panda will die. Ah, that was a painful loss for Yanker. <laughs> is under siege. And he will catch up on this keeper without uh, any items. So this keeper surely will die and it even leads leads little tick to this last building. Potentially last. Where's this last tree? Ah, okay. A player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Ooh, the next breath will really hurt. With the boots, he can't stay in range. Uh, oh, okay, it, it was it was okay for Lilty. is under siege. <laughs> A 
player's forces are under attack. I guess GS tries to get a mortar team. He needs to get two additional farms for that. Player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. town is under siege a player's forces are under attack is under siege. But he's hoping for the lucky bash. Cumulus of GS, interesting. under siege. under siege.
player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Yeah, nice call by Yanko to kill his own hero just to get some wisps back. I hope he's sold all his items now. He, he needs to sell this um, this cause. Sure. Players' forces are under attack. Town is under A player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Nice fight here, and Kimono's panel and under pressure. Needs to be very careful here. Nice block. Ooh, and the slow coming in. So that's really dangerous for him now. Needs to DP. Needs 
must be very careful here. Paladin healed up soon, but in return he might lose his Archmage as an interval. <laughs> the MK out of mana <laughs> and the slow stone, so. Oh, and. <laughs> he reaches the Paladin just in time. STP away. A player's forces are under attack. And in the meantime, Kimon managed to kill one tower. And the base race is on, so Lil Tick under heavy pressure here. And Cumulo taking another island here while having this one already. And a then this island could attack. become a real issue. <laughs> a town is under siege. It needs to be careful to not get stuck in here. Killing the Griffin. And that's quite a big deal actually if he manages to kill his Griffins. And I mean, Kimono should know that. Like, these Griffins will be key to kill the, the island. So, I mean, on the other hand, Kimono has an island also. So. Cumulo continues to attack GS, knowing that he, I mean, it, it will basically be island against island, but contrary to, like, contrary to um, Liltik, he has some buildings left on the mainland, so um, Liltik getting another another main building here, and he has quite some gold, more than Cumulo, and that might be his biggest advantage here. A player's forces are under attack. All of these players supply stock, so whatever unit dies will probably never come back to, to life. So, um, 
I would I would say it's looking good for, for Kingdom Lords because Panda may may become really helpful in in the space race. Um, or be more helpful than than MK. But he needs to be careful as we saw down here. Panda and Archmage the players' forces are under might be attack. Um, might die more quickly than um, than MK or against MK. MK. Player's forces are under attack. That's a big question now. Will Lil Tick be able to scout this island in time? He should use his towers to... Oh, no, he scouted it. These islands are <laughs> are showstoppers, really. Like with so many towers, it's really difficult to kill them at this point without losing too much. This tank looks slightly broken up here. Like, look at this tank. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's supposed to be here. Like. Tank looks. is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. This could basically take forever to, to take them down. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh.
player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. town is under siege.
town is under siege. Player's forces are under attack. town is under siege. Player's forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. Players forces are under attack. Town is under siege.
player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. I'm back. Just in time, hopefully. And this is... Yeah, this is the second last farm. He will be able to save his peasant, though. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Be careful to not use his heroes here. And he's revealed, so... Cancel STP. The player's forces are under attack. <laughs> That's very bad news for both of them. This town hall is revealed, so... A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Yeah, GS killing the Paladin of Liltik, so that's a big deal actually. And Liltik might be revealed a town is if under he doesn't. Siege. Like, I, I hope he doesn't forget to build a player's another forces town are again. under attack. He has the gold. Players' forces are under attack. The town is under siege. Player's forces are under attack. And GS lost another Zeppelin, as it seems. So he's down to this one peasant, I think. A town is under siege. He revived this one. So that's good for him, 1.4k. Mistake by Bill Tick to not invest his gold in the town wall. A player's forces are under attack. Kimono has some gold for another town hall, so this is really heating heating up. A and town is under siege. It seems to me as if GS is about to die here if this continues for much longer. A player's forces are under attack. 
big mistake by no tick to get revealed, unless it was intentional, but I don't think it makes sense at this point. Players forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Forces are under attack. Player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Town is under siege.
is under siege. is under siege. The player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack.
A player's forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. siege. Town is under siege.
players' forces are under attack. town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. is under siege. A player's forces are under attack.
is under siege. The player's forces are under attack.
Slayer's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack.
forces are under attack. Player's forces are under attack. Players under forces siege. are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. Is under A player's siege. forces are under attack. Players' forces are under siege. attack. Players forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege.
player's forces are under attack. The town is under siege. town is under siege. under siege. A player's forces are under attack. under siege. is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. under siege. Players' forces are under attack. The town is under siege. Players forces are under attack. Under siege. 
Frontier's forces are under attack. Player's forces are under attack. is under siege. is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. under siege. is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. is under siege. A player's forces are under attack.
is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Town is under siege. Town is under siege. Town is under siege.
player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack.
Slayer's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. is under siege. town is under siege. town is under siege. is under siege. town is under siege. town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. town is under siege.
players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. Town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Town is under siege.
players' forces are under attack. Players forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Players the town forces is under are under siege. attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. under 
Slayer's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are the under, is under siege.
players' forces are under attack. is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege.
players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. under siege. Players' forces are under attack.
players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. The town is under siege. town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Players forces are under attack.
Japanese forces are under attack.
player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. 